Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobume. Welcome to my Office 365 video. This video is uh, kind of like a hack. I don't do videos like this typically, but I found something interesting about Office 365 licenses that even if it's this specific license, even if it's expired, it will actually allow you to use Office Online. But if you look at your screen here, you can see that there are errors all over the place. Right now, I'm logged in as Mike Moser here, as you can see here, Mike Moser on the side, logged in as him, and you can see that there are errors. You know, Office 365 license basically is not working, basically. It says here, you need to assign a product license to your own user account, right? So this is what's happening. And if you click on this expansion here, where it, you know, the app launcher, you can see that the apps are not listed there. You know, things like Outlook, Word, Excel, all the things that you would expect to use in Office 365, right? And why is that happening? Well, obviously, as we just stated, it's because of the product license is not assigned or expired. All right. So before we start me talking about on how to hack this, basically, please do me a favor in the comment below. Just say hello, hi, or present. Sort of like a roll call in the class just to see how many people are watching this video. Thank you very much. And if you're here to watch the help desk video, this is actually going to be next week. So I apologize for that. However, I do have a second channel on which regularly there are shorter version of help desk videos that come out pretty regularly. So I'll put a pop up link that will come up right now on the right hand side here somewhere. So if you want to check that out, you can certainly follow and if you subscribe i really appreciate that as well all right so let's get into it here's mike moser and he can't go to anything you know this is just office.com this is where you would normally go to access your office online version of that however if i open up outlook 2016 and this is not office 2000s this is not outlook uh, 365 i should say this is just a regular outlook you can see that his email appears to be working fine right and you can see that that's indeed him you can see he's logged in as mike m at cosmic novo uh, at, at cosmic novo dot on microsoft.com and i want you to remember this because it's the same thing that says here right so it's the same thing that says right there so as just a confirmation that we are indeed using the exact same account okay so if you if we expand this the launcher area here we can see again that there's nothing there all right, so what is going on? Well, let's go to our admin panel. Mike happens to be the global administrator, so he can make these changes. He can look up different subscriptions, different licenses, I should say. And this is done simply through users here, right? Users, if I click active users, and if you look everywhere in here, you can see that all of these or majority of these licenses are expired. Some things have you know, assign the license of Microsoft Teams Exploratory. Like, what is that? You know, isn't, isn't that just like to explore Microsoft Teams, right? You know, this is what but this is what that is, right? This, as far as we know. Now, let's look at Mike's. Mike Moser is li unlicensed because license is expired. So I selected Mike Moser. I'm going to expand licenses and apps here, and you can see there are a couple of things here available. Microsoft Microsoft Power Automate is free. I honestly don't even know what that is this is some kind of an automation thing i don't i don't care about that this is not related to working office 365 administration and then here's microsoft teams exploratory right so what does that mean microsoft teams exploratory let's matter of fact let's see if it's even active if i go to billing here on the left and if i select your products and we're going to see the licenses that are available for me there's the power automate free and that never expires. You can see the subscription status is here as active. And uh, I don't know. I didn't want to click on that. But here it is. The second one here where it says Microsoft Teams Exploratory Trial. And that one is expired. And it's been expired for, you know, over a month. Almost a month, I should say. So it's expired. Right? Offer offer expired. And it's, it's gone. It's expired. It literally says here it's expired. However... I found that if I assign this license to Mike Moser or anybody else here, which we should probably test too, but let's just test it with Mike Moser. If I assign this exploratory Microsoft Teams exploratory license 
to Mike Moser, suddenly things are going to start working. And even though it says here the trial subscription for Microsoft Theme Exploratory trial expires, it expired, uh, you know, almost a month ago. Today is 10-7-2022. Uh, it expired. We just saw that. I don't need to basically keep repeating that. I'm going to click Save Changes here. And let's see what happens. Now, it's going to take probably 10 minutes for this apply. I'm not going to close this window. I'm not going to close this window because I want you to see that this is indeed the same window. However, I will click over on the next tab just to take us back to the office. So here it is. Here is our Office 365. This is where we were at originally. So if I click on the app launcher, we can still see the same stuff, right? So I can, you know, it should, it might take 10 minutes, but we're going to start to refresh here and see what happens. So I'm going to hit F5 or I can just uh, click this reload page button. So I'm just going to do that so it's more visible. Let's do a reload and you can see that it suddenly started working. In some cases, it would take 10 minutes, but in this case, I guess it took only, what, 20 seconds or something like that. And it immediately started working. Now, just to tell you that I didn't cheat this or anything like that, you can see, I'm going to click on the second panel here, and you can see that here it is. This is where we were at moments ago, right? So I'm going to go back here, and here it is. And if you can see that this is working, there are no errors. Matter of fact, there's Outlook, there's Teams, there's Word, there's Excel, there's PowerPoint. So if I expand this again, we can suddenly see that all these new things added. So I'm just going to click on Outlook and it's going to open it up. All right? It's going to open up Outlook and I'm going to go back. Outlook works fine, right? Outlook works fine, right? We know it's, it's working. It's working fine. So if I go back and do, and do an expansion on the app launcher, um, you can see that we still have these other things here that are available. Okay, so let's try other, let's try Word. And I, I should have showed you that Word didn't work before either, but you're just going to have to trust me. So this one might take a little bit of time. Uh, like, like I said, it might take 10 minutes. See, this one is thinking about it. Well, that's good. It actually, it actually went through. All right. And then I'm going to try, I don't know, Excel. And that came up immediately, which is good. I'm just going to open up a blank. Okay, and then, I don't know, let's do PowerPoint as well. Here's PowerPoint instantly came up. So that's amazing. But the fact remains is that I used Microsoft Teams exploratory license that is expired. Expired. If I go to products, here it is. It's expired. Here it is. And yet these things are working. So is this really a hack? It really sure looks like it. It really sure looks like it. If I was to Google this to see what it does, you can see you can see more of details of what it is and i actually did that earlier just to kind of see is this really happening to confirm it and this is what it says here this is recently updated like three days ago and it says manage the microsoft teams exploratory license and it says here the microsoft teams exploratory experience lets users in your organization who have azure active directory and aren't licensed for teams initiate the exploratory experience of teams of teams right not outlook not anything else admins can switch this feature on and off whatever and this is what this is what comes with this it gives you exchange online flow for microsoft 365 insight you know a bunch of other stuff right including teams uh in whatever else you know but it doesn't mention outlook it doesn't mention, uh, you know, Word, Excel. Uh, well, it does mention Office Online, so there is that. So <laughs> I apologize. I guess there it does mention it, Office Online. However, it's still expired. It's still expired, and yet it works. Yet it works. All right. I mean, I hope this helps somebody. I don't usually make videos like this. I just think it's very weird that it does work to begin with. I will eventually activate the uh, legitimate licenses that come with a trial. If I was to purchase all these licenses and keep making tutorial videos like I have been, I have 
over 20 videos that are in series when it comes to Office 365 training. And uh, if you want to check those out, I will put a link at the end of this video. So the link is going to be a to uh, a playlist for Office 365. And I've got a couple of crash courses on this as well. So I will eventually, you know, get these licenses renewed and hopefully as a trial because I certainly can't afford to buy all of these licenses. It's super expensive. And uh, But if you decide to get Office 365 to, you know, basically learn along my tutorials, my series on how to use Office 365, you can possibly use this workaround to follow along, you know, because I can go indeed, uh, well, see, this hasn't refreshed yet, but if I refresh, it should come up again. You see, now it comes up. So if I go to, I actually need the admin. Where's my admin thing? Uh, here I am. Oh, okay, here we go. This is what I need. Show all. But I just want to show to you that Azure Active Directory actually still works here. Azure Active Directory. What I'm trying to say is if you want to try this and want to use this exploratory uh, license to kind of, I guess, hack this, then you might be able to. And uh, but you would have to sign up for a Office 365 that is for a business and such to get there to begin with. And let's see if Exchange works. Microsoft Exchange. Yeah, looks like it's working. Microsoft Exchange. Let's try something else. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's try something else. Let's go Teams administration. There we go. It's loading Teams. Well, wow, it's thinking about it. Huh? Will this one work? I don't know. May or may not. And loading Teams Admin Center. And sure enough, looks like it's working. Let me see if I can pull up Teams. Come on. Teams Users, Manage Users. Yep, look at that. Matter of fact, I can manage all of them too. All right. Well, there's that. I hope this video is useful to somebody. I apologize if I couldn't make another a longer session video, but it is what it is. Um, you know, we all have a personal life to to uh, manage as well. So there is that. All right. I wish you and your family uh, best of luck in everything. Take care. Bye bye.